Fernando Tatis Jr. is finally back in MLB The Show, and SDS gave him a 99 overall charisma card. You can find him in the new Set 2 Chase Pack that's available in the pack store right now, and it's so nice to see a good Fernando Tatis Jr. card again, because in 22, his Live Series card was just chilling in the free agents pool all year. And yes, this card is a shortstop. According to SDS, this is based off his 2021 season, but he does have all three outfield positions as secondaries. Now, the roster update also came out today, so Fernando Tatis Jr. has been added to the Padres Live Series collection. So unfortunately, if you guys didn't finish the collection before today, it just got significantly more expensive. So I'm gonna put Fernando Tatis Jr. at shortstop on my God Squad. So let's see how he plays. As we search for a game, remember to use code Coogs on SeatGeek to save $20 off MLB tickets. And check out Underdog Fantasy for daily fantasy sports. You can use code Coogs and they'll match your first deposit up to $100. Here we go, Fernando Tatis Jr. against 92 Sandy Alcantara. His live series card actually went down to a gold in the roster update. Dude, they dropped so much content today. I don't even know where to start. Ah, this once again will be on Hall of Fame. I'm 2 0 on the difficulty so far this year. Let's keep it going. Oh. Okay. So far, my strategy of leaving pitches over the middle of the plate isn't really working out for me. There we go. Still over the plate. Got to clean that up. But at least I have an out. This guy will definitely expand the zone. Oh, yeah. He's swinging at everything. He's got good batting averages, so he must square up the ball when he does hit it. Got to go slider away. Until he proves he can lay off, I'm going to keep going there. He's early on everything. What do I get Devers with? Maybe a curveball in the dirt right here? I doubt it. Sammy. Sammy. Sammy! And it's finally time. 99 Fernando Tatis Jr. His first at-bat of MLB 23. Don't need a home run. Let's just put a good swing on the ball. Oh my God, dude. I just missed that. Look how close I was. The tiniest PCI adjustment. We might be looking at a leadoff bomb. Damn. But as I said in the first, MLB The Show dropped a ridiculous amount of content today. We got a new charisma program with like 10 new cards in there. Those will help you towards your set one collection if you haven't gotten Chipper, Babe, or Pedro yet. And honestly, there's some cards in there that I'm really excited to try out. There's like a good Marcus Semyon. There's an Andrew Chafin card who... I always love using in BR. Curious how a diamond version of him will play in ranked. But I'm definitely looking to complete that program before too long. <laughs> Bro, the movement on Otani's pitches right now is unreal. But we also got the roster update. I actually didn't really look through it all the way. I saw a couple cards. I know Zach Wheeler and Alcantara are now gold. I think Pete Alonso is a diamond now. I can't really remember anything else. I didn't really look too deep into that. Sammy Sosa, perfect swing on a hanging slider. I don't care who's at the plate. You can't throw that to anybody and expect it to stay in the yard. Let's see, what else came out today? We got new Tops Now cards added to the April Tops Now program. So make sure to get those Tops Now missions and moments done. You're gonna wanna get those cards because once again, those get added to the set one collection. Plus, we don't know for sure yet, but I would assume you're gonna need some of those cards for the April player of the month whenever that comes out. We also got the return of the Moonshot event today. There's two home run derby cards that are rewards in that event. So I don't know, are we gonna see the return of if I hit a home run, I open a chase pack coming up within the next few days? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe leave a like on the video and we'll, we'll talk. Hold on, pause. Tatis is on deck. Oh, give me my late cheese. Let's go, baby. Fernando Tatis Jr. has a guy on first base. Yo, that ball was destroyed. How far did that go? 416 feet. I mean, we haven't had a good Tatis in forever. And we got the bat flip. Tatis is back. Oh, I think we just went back to back. Tatis and then Chipper. See you, ball. But now circling back to what we were talking about with the Moonshot event and the new Home Run Derby cards, we also got a new Home Run Derby set one pack in the shop. And this pack has a base round with some 97s, pretty cool cards. But the rare round is really exciting. And for me, it's exciting for one card in particular. You might think I'm talking about 99 Vlad because he's my favorite player of all time, but you're wrong. I'm talking about 99 Ryan Howard. But the reason for that is because you take 99 Ken Griffey Jr. that came out earlier this week, 99 Tatis and 99 Ryan Howard who were released today, 
You add them to the cover athlete team with David Wright as the captain and his tier three boost, the team build becomes unreal. I've got to do a video with that team because it's stupid good. There we go, Julio. Is that going to get by him? Ah, I wanted a double. No double plays here, Logan. Not with Fernando on deck. Ooh. We're going to have two on for Fernando now? 2-0. I'm not taking a walk this at bat. I Why was I already thinking about a walk when it was only a two ball count? That threw off my whole mindset for that pitch. I'm so pissed that I missed that, dude. Why did that slider look like it was 107 miles an hour? Anybody know? Or am I just ass? That could be a possible explanation. So guys, down in the comments, let me know what you're thinking about all the new content that dropped in MLB today. Are you excited to have Fernando Tatis Jr. back in the game? Are you not excited because of, you know, his suspension? Are you going to complete that charisma program this weekend? Are you going to jump right in the moonshot event? Tops now. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know how this affects your team. Are you going to be able to get one of those set one boss packs after you complete all this content? I'd love to hear what everybody's doing with all this new stuff. Let me go with a fastball to Murakami. <laughs> Elevate. Dude, honestly, this guy has really good batting averages with basically his whole team, but he doesn't seem to be able to lay off anything out of the zone. If this guy develops a little bit of plate discipline, this guy's going to be a good player. Yeah, I mean, these are just free strikeouts at this point. Yeah, I missed it with Tatis. I wasn't going to miss it with Sammy, man. I was ready for it this time. I honestly got a lot closer to that ball than I thought I would. He's always early, but I'm I really want to try to get a fastball by him right here. <laughs> wow, that was off the plate, right? Like that was in. That was in. I'm not even mad at that pitch. That's just a crazy good swing from Jazz. All right, respect. He almost just went yard again. He brought in Otani off the bench and almost pulled an outside cutter for a home run. That's crazy. Tatis, is this the first time he's gotten a ball hit to him all game? Look at the arm. 8-9-1. Fernando's due up third this inning. And I am missing that. You know, for as well as I've felt like I've hit this game, I'm only up by four. And you guys know how it goes in Diamond Dynasty. A big inning could happen at any moment. So I do need to kind of stay locked in and get some more run support here. Damn. All right, Fernando. Can't miss a fastball this time. 3-1. I'm swinging at anything close. I'm not taking a walk. Screw that. Yeah, three, two. Give me a pitch in the zone. That's a good pitch. That's honestly a good circle change. Squared it up, but I got a way back. Damn, one for four with Tatis. Yep. I don't even know how many strikeouts Otani has, but it's got to be creeping up towards double digits. But it also might be time for him to go. Tatis, yes, green throw, 78 speed, bang. Yeah, I think on the cover athlete team, Tatis gets maxed fielding, I think. Yeah, max fielding and max contact against lefties. Just ridiculous, dude. Okay, he finally took Sandy out of the game. And that's going to be a line out. That sucks. Oh, I keep messing up my timing on these outside pitches. All right, two out walk. You know what? Whatever helps Babe Ruth's on-base percentage go up, I'm fine with. And I miss another outside pitch. Oh my god. This is literally still a three-run game. I'm getting Otani out. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Mariano. Hopefully I can get a clean inning out of him right here. Don't really know how he missed that. Yeah, he's starting to stay with the cutter away now. We can definitely get him to swing at a sinker underneath the zone and ground into a double play. He wants it. There it is. Oh, or just go back to... Okay, or do nothing. Three, two. Um, I'm going to go with a sinker away. And we got a one-run game, dude. All right, I need to get a run here. I need some insurance. <sighs> yeah, that sucks. Oh, my God. 
There we go, Julio. That is such a huge eighth inning home run. Perfect, perfect on a 100 mile per hour fastball. I needed that big time. And that gets Tatis one more AB. And here we go. He's one for four. Gotta just get one more here, Fernando. Come on. Or I will swing at an outside. All right, I'm going to go 99 Josh Hader. And it looks like he's going to be playing some matchups. Who do you go to? Wolfie. Got him. Good circle change away. One out. Oh, no, 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 no. I just ruined Babe Ruth's shining moment on this squad. No way. Oh, I thought he fouled that. All right. Honestly, with three righties coming up, I'm going to go to a righty. Probably got another lefty just lurking. Yeah, Robbie Cano. And we got it. Actually get the green this time. 7-5 to five victory. I wanted a little bit more with Tatis, but hey, the home run we got, I'll take that. The bat flip is back. Sammy Sosa getting player of the game with his two home runs. Shohei had eight strikeouts through seven innings. Honestly, I didn't expect that game to get that intense toward the end, but my opponent really was in control of things from the second half on. Tatis is back!